Hey everyone, Ross from Fit Blast. Hope you're all doing well. So this video, I wanted to shoot it and aim it towards maybe beginners or people who've been using gym for a little while, but you feel as though the wheels have come on stock a bit. You know you should be going, but you're really lacking motivation, or you may have taken three steps forward, 10 steps back. I've got loads of little tips, loads of little methods I can work with you and help you to achieve your goals. So enjoy. Step number one. So we are going to use a scale, it's called motive scaling. If you visualize a scale in your head, zero is neutral, it goes down to minus 10, which you really dislike a certain exercise, or it goes back to neutral, or it goes plus 10, which you really enjoy this type of exercise. If you visualize in your head, this can really help you focus and realize on what works well for you. So we'll give an example. So say for example, I said, okay, we're gonna go for a run and you absolutely love running, your scale would tip into the plus, it might go to three or four, say if you like exercising. Now if I said to you, right, we are gonna go for a swim and you really dislike swimming, you're gonna go into the minus and you might go to a minus three or four. So you can see how this gauge works. Now what we have to do, we need to build on the scale. Three or four isn't really enough to keep someone motivated. So you think, how can I top up how can I add to this scale? So you've said, okay, I love running, and it's about three. Okay, so we wanna say, right, so you love running, so what don't you like about running, what you do? Well, I hate running on the cliffs to start off with. Okay, so we'll run on the flat road, so all of a sudden, we've gone up a notch, so we're at maybe four out of 10. So we've taken away the part you don't like, which is running on the cliffs. We're gonna run on the flat road. Next thing, oh, well, I get really bored running. Okay, we're putting some really good music, something you love, it motivates you. All of a sudden, it comes a bit more desirable, and that scale's gone up maybe to a five. So you're increasing how much you like or enjoy this run. Next thing is, well, I don't like running uh, where people can see me because I get really self-conscious. Okay, well let's work out a really good little route where we can go, people won't be looking at you. Okay, brilliant, well it's gone straight up to a seven now. So I've got everything, I've got my music I like, I'm not running on cliffs, I don't, people can't see me. This is absolutely sounding amazing. So you can tip the scale by adding or subtracting things you like or dislike. You have to use this and focus on everything you enjoy about exercise. Forget the stuff you don't like, because if you make a determination on exercise by focusing on something you don't like, you're just gonna say, well, I don't like exercise, because I got made to swim and I hate swimming. Well, if you focus on stuff that you like, all of a sudden, it's gonna feel, there'll be the feel-good factor, it'll be feeling great. So to sum up, this really means if you enjoy doing exercise, do more of it. If you dislike doing something regarding exercise, don't do any of it. At the end of the day, if you don't like doing something, as with anything in life, you are not gonna stick to it. Habit equals results, remember. Without habit equals no results at all. So any questions, any comments, feel free to leave them below. As usual, until I see you again, live life to the fullest, focus on the positive, and make your difference today.